Hello and welcome to our viewers here in the United States and around the world. I'm Linda Kincaid in Atlanta. Welcome to this special edition of CNN Newsroom. We'll begin this hour with the powerful geomagnetic storm happening right now. The solar storm is classified as extreme, level five out of five. It hasn't got to this level in more than 20 years, and it is causing the northern and southern lights to dazzle in many places that rarely, if ever, see them. We'll take a look at the sky above parts of Florida a short time ago. Quite a remarkable sight for the balmy state north of the tropics. Most of the Midwest and even the northern California region have had a high chance of seeing the aurora. And the skies over the UK also lit up in vivid colors earlier Friday night. Parts of Europe and Asia are likely to have another chance to view the lights on Saturday. And in the, the southern hemisphere, the aurora australis was spotted over New Zealand as well as Argentina. Of course, it all started when the sun erupted with a series of solar flares and what's known as coronal mass ejections, launching particles directly at the Earth. When those particles reach the Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere, it creates this spectacular light shows that we're witnessing. Well, the lights are expected to reach their peak activity this hour and into the morning until sunrise. The storm will likely continue throughout the weekend. Well, the Biden administration is closely tracking the storm as it could disrupt communications, satellites and power stations. 